Hi everyone and welcome to the final day of the Copa España here on Isla Canela 2019. Out of the five days we had three days of amazing races with 21 meter and 15 meter kites. I managed to win 8 out of 10 races against Kiko Pero and Mauricio Weppert. The battles were pretty interesting and close but in the end I managed to win with a comfortable margin. I am super stoked to have won the Copa España and I'm really happy to have done so well in this event. The event was actually five days long. We had a great training day on the first day. I was actually here a couple of days beforehand, getting used to the conditions and training a little bit. And it was amazing fun um, training one or two days before with Mauricio. It really helped me get used to the currents here and lining up with them really had me uh, increase my speed, especially on my 15 meter kite. This year the Copa España was done in two events. The first one was in Alicante back in February and obviously the second one here on Isla Canela. The event here on Isla Canela was organized by the Spain Kiteboarding League which is normally just a freestyle and strapless freestyle tour but this time they invited us to hold our finals here at this beautiful spot. Isla Canela is near Huelva on the border between Spain and Portugal. Actually when we were riding and on the course and training we were actually always going back and forth between Portuguese and Spanish waters which is a quite interesting experience. It is one of the coolest spots I've actually been to for foiling. The wind is like clockwork here it just sets in about three o'clock you get a nice southwesterly thermal building and like I said we had great conditions all the time. Unfortunately the strapless and the freestyle guys didn't get strong enough wind to finish their heats but probably next year and then their next stop they'll have some great conditions. I am super grateful for the SKL for inviting us to this event. It was really great for once to ride in some stronger winds. I really like riding when I'm really lit up. You know, the perks of living on Fuerteventura, you don't really train that much light wind, but when the 15 is loaded up, I really enjoy that type of racing. I would like to thank Ozone, Chubanga, EpiRigs, Forward Whip, for all of their um, help and the great equipment they make. It really helped me um, feel comfortable sailing in this wind. Also groove kiteboarding for the great boards they make. And yeah, without you guys, this wouldn't have been possible. Now I'm gonna be heading home back to Fuerteventura to train for a week. And right after that, I will be heading to Castellón for the Campeonato de España, the actual Spanish championships. And I hope to do well there too. It's going to be hard racing there. Alex Clement and Carlos uh, Puig Captevela are extremely strong this year, and this is Carlos's home spot. This is light wind racing, so I really need to get my game on for that. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show for the last five days. Rock on. See you in Castellón.